In this lesson, we're going to discuss aligning and distributing objects. If you'd like to follow along, go to the File menu to Open, and in the Working Files folder, go into Chapter Number 4 to Align Objects, and just click Open. In order to align objects, why don't we start by opening the Align panel, which is under the Window menu, Object and Layout, Align and I'm just going to move it out of the way. The first thing we need to look at in the Align panel is what we're aligning to. There is an Align To section in the panel, and if I click down on that, right now it's aligning to margins. I could also align to a page, align to a spread. We're going to start with Align To Selection, so why don't we choose that? And now we need to make a selection. So go to your selection tool and click and drag across the three objects on the left-hand side of the page. And why don't we go through the Align Objects section. If I click on the first icon, which is Align Left Edges, it's going to align all the left edges of these objects to the left side of the leftmost object. I'm going to keep undoing this between each button. So hit Command-Z or Control-Z. The next button is going to align horizontal centers. That means it's going to align the centers of these three objects to this center bounding box point, which is the center of the selection. Let me click on that Align Horizontal Centers button, and you can see it did align the objects to the center of the original selection. Let me undo that, Command-Z or Control-Z. The next button is Align Right Edges, and I bet you know what that does already. Let me click on it, and yes, it does. It does align the right side of each of the selected objects to the right side of my original selection. Let me undo that. Now, I'm going to go to my Selection Tool, and click and drag across the four objects going across the bottom of the page. And we'll continue with the next buttons in the Align Objects section. The first one is Align Top Edges, and it aligns all the top edges to the top of the topmost object. Let me undo that. The next button will align the vertical centers to the center of this selection. So it's the vertical center of this selection, which is the center bounding box point. So if I click on Align Vertical Centers, you'll see that they move towards the center of the original selection, and all the centers are aligned going right across the page. Let me hit Command or Control Z again. The next button is Align Bottom Edges. If I click on that, of course, all of the bottom edges align to the original bottom of my selection. Let's see, why don't we select the three objects on the left-hand side and align them towards the left? Now we're going to talk about the Distribute Objects section. If I click on Distribute Top Edges, watch what happens. Well, it looks like it's putting an equal amount of space between the objects. That's not what it's doing at all. It is actually making, as the button says, the top edges distributed evenly apart. So the distance from this top edge to this top edge is exactly equal as the distance from this top edge to this top edge. Well, let's see what that really does. I'm going to deselect everything and select this top square and make it shorter. Select this next square and make it taller just by simply clicking from the center top bounding box point. Now I'm going to reselect these three objects and I'm going to click on that distribute top edges. And believe it or not, it's working. The distance from this top edge to this top edge is exactly equal to the distance from this top edge to the top edge of the bottom object. Well, 
It has nothing to do with the space between the objects themselves. It has to do with the distance between the top edges. Well, my question is, of what value is this when you're doing a layout? I've never been able to figure out when to use this. I've never, ever used it. And if you find a use for it, I want to hear from you. Now, this used to have a use in Adobe Illustrator. It was used all the time in trying to create patterns to make the parts of an object a certain distance apart. So in the repeat of the pattern, it would repeat perfectly. But with the new pattern feature in Illustrator CS6, there really is no use for it in Illustrator either. So if you find a use for distribute, any one of these distribute buttons, I do want to hear from you. Okay, now there is a part of the distribute section which I use all the time. It has to do with distribute spacing. If I click on the button that says distribute vertical space, ah, now the space between the objects is exactly the same. That's something you could use all the time in a layout. Let me select the four objects going across the bottom of the page and click on distribute horizontal space. And it should make the space between the objects perfectly equal. And it did. But I can also go under my Align to pop up and choose margins or page or spread. I'm going to choose margins and watch what happens with the two objects on either end when I distribute the horizontal space. The left side of the left object and the right side of the right object are going to move out to the margins. And there's an equal amount of space between them. Well, that can save a whole bunch of time. Well, what if I wanted a certain distance between my objects? Not just to make it equal, but a certain amount. Let me do that. I'm going to type in 0.375 inches into the U spacing field. And when I click on Distribute Horizontal Space, it's going to make them 0.375 inches apart, 3 eighths of an inch. Let me undo that. You'll notice that it closed up towards the left-hand side. I wonder if there's a way to make it so one of the other objects stays in place and the other objects move in or out from it. Well, if I do Align To instead of Margins, I choose something called Align to Key Object. And all I have to do to pick a key object is to click on any one of the selected objects. I clicked on the second object from the right, and that is going to remain in place. And the other objects are going to move in towards it so that the space between them is 0.375 inches. So the Align panel gives you a tremendous amount of control. Let's try a couple other things. Maybe I want to align my object in a page. So I'm going to select this object along the left over here. And I'm going to go to Page for Align To. And I can use a couple of commands together. Let's say I wanted to center this object in my page. Well, I already selected Align to Page. If I click Align Horizontal Centers, it's going to align the horizontal center of the page and the horizontal center of the object. And then I can do the same thing with the vertical centers. This object is absolutely centered in my page. So you can see how fast the Align panel can help you position objects exactly where you want them. In the next lesson, we're going to continue working with objects.